Ready? So we're gonna move off in it, sir. So before you signal, you need the car ready to go. The car is not ready to go. And if the car is ready to go, you are not ready to go. So before you move your car forward, you need to make sure that you understand that it's safe to go. So you've started the car. Have you got the car ready to go? Is the car ready to go? So if you were to give gas, would the car move forwards? It wouldn't. There's something you're missing. Look down here. Yeah. Yeah. So put the car into gear. There. Now the car's ready to go. Yeah. Okay. So now that the car's ready to go, is it safe for you to move the car off? So if you think it's safe, show your intention to other road users that you're about to move away. Yeah. Then finally look into your right blind spot to move off. Yeah. Keep staying, Fatima. Keep staying. Keep staying. That's it. Now stay in the opposite direction. Stay to the left. Gently give some gas to the car coming to your road. Give some gas. That's it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn right at this roundabout here. So look into your mirrors and now signal right. Keep the car straight and give way to your right. So we'll do a gentle stop if you need to. Then look to your right and if it's safe, continue. Look to your right again. Keep looking as you go around the roundabout. Gently give some gas as you're going up. And give some gas and straighten up the car. That's it. The signal will cancel when you straighten the wheel like it has done now. And follow the road ahead. Continue following the road ahead. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the second road on the right. So keep going ahead. That's the first road. The second road is where that on the side there. So look at the floor markings. Now start your routine. Mm -hmm. Go a little faster. And don't turn into there yet. Keep moving forward. Go into the second box. Now look in the right door mirror. Go into the second box. That's it. Now straighten the car. Signal right. I think you're stopping in a random, look, you're just stopping randomly in the middle of the road. You're not stopping straight. No, uh, 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 no, you go. Not you, you put your brake on, it's not your priority. You need to try and stop in a straight line when you stop, okay? Go on now. Now, if you're in the car, get some gas. Give gas. I move a little bit to the right. That's fine. And follow the road ahead. Now, what's the speed limit of this road? Yeah, you need to travel at a speed that you're always in control. Little bit to right, so you're not too close to park cars. Stay a meter away. It's telling us that the road ahead is closed. That means we're turning right. So follow the road up. Or let's go ahead. It's telling us that road is closed. So follow the road ahead. You can see the white arrow is pointing to the road on the right. So it's telling us that road is is closed, not this one. So it's telling you the road ahead which is the road on the right, is closed. A bit more to right so you don't clip the side of that car. Give some gas. Try and keep your speed above 25. Look in the left door and come back into the lane on the left. So we always try and keep left when we drive. Look in the left door mirror. 
get closer to the double yellow lines as you're going ahead. Now look in your rear view mirror and we're going to stop just before the first line you come across. Got to general stop. stop. General stop next time. Now we can go. So look in both door mirrors, make sure it's safe and it is. Continue following the road ahead. Keep to the left. Let me give some gas, follow the road ahead. Give gas. That's just Bradford, that's just another hour. So if you're not going 600 miles an hour, they're not happy. Continue following the road ahead. Gently give some more gas. Try and keep it at 29. And now look in your inside mirror. Give some gas. Give some gas. You're slowing down too early. Now look in the left door mirror. Come closer to the left. That's it. When that line disappears, stop. So start slowing down. And you have an obstruction. Now we can go. The lights have gone green. Look in the right door mirror. Make sure you're a meter away from that green lorry. And watch out, he could be jumping out, could be taking a ladder out or something. He could be dropping milk off. Follow the road up. Give some gas. Keep your speed reasonably constant. So we're going to remain in the lane on the left at the moment and give gas. So don't go over that white line, give some gas. That's it, and stay in this lane. And we're gonna keep to the left of our lane, keep to the left, stay in this lane and keep going ahead. Look in the right door mirror. And that instructor did him dirty. He knew he did, he moved to the right. I think that must be the instructor driving that car. Bit more to right. He pushed his car to right. So he was on a vibe there, you know, the black car. He was pushing his car really quick. But on a Sunday, it's all slugs. All the, all the learner cars are coming out. All the learner drivers are driving their cars. That's why he doesn't like it. Probably lives down there. Give some gas, a bit more to right. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead at the traffic lights when it's safe to do so. A little bit more to right. Slow down, tyres on the tarmac. Come to a gentle stop here. Now that you've stopped, look in your rear view mirror, look in the left door mirror, look in the right door mirror. Just see what's going on around you. Now look in your rear view mirror, gently move forward and glance in both door mirrors for cyclists. As we go ahead, we need to be careful we don't fall into that pothole in front of us because it's still there. That's it. It's over here. Gently follow the road ahead. So Bradford City Council, they don't fill in potholes. So we never got to, never got to there and it's broken. They fill it with tarmac. That's the easiest thing for them to do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the next road on the right, please. That's it. You check your mirrors, signal right, get close to the line, make sure it's safe before you travel into that road and go. 
Going into that road. And we're now going to follow the road up and we're going to turn the car around somewhere. So follow the road up. The road doesn't finish, okay? So follow it, follow it ahead. Keep going. It goes round to the right. Slowly turn to the right. Nice and slow. So you don't hit anything. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. There's plenty of space. There's plenty of time. We'll jump it through. Don't worry. I've been here before. Keep going, Fatima. Keep, keep going. Keep going. And what we need to do is we need to turn the car around. Now keep going ahead. Look behind you in your rear view mirror. No, in your rear view mirror. There's nobody there. So now come to a very, very gentle stop here. Gentle stop. Gentle stop. That's it. So my kidneys are still in my rib cage. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to turn the car around. Now there's only one way to turn the car around. And that's by going to the right. Then reversing towards that blue car. And then coming towards here. And when we reverse the car, the first thing you need to understand when you reverse the car, you don't have priority over anybody else. So while you're driving the car, make sure you understand that anyone around here, you must stop. You must see other road users, especially vulnerable people. Vulnerable people, meaning uh, cyclists, uh, people that are walking, people with a pram, that sort of thing. You have to watch out for them. That's the first thing. The second thing you have to watch out for. The, the second thing you have to watch out for is people that are walking. So let's say uh, that young lady there. Can you see them two girls there? Yeah. Now, if you see them, they're going to go into that car. They're going to move off in a few minutes. So we're going to affect them as we drive. The third thing when you're driving this car, make sure you're not going faster than walking pace. So you're in control of your car. So what you and I are going to do in a few seconds is we're going to move out of their way. We're then going to reverse back. And then we're going to do this turning the road, okay? So it looks like they're going to move off any minute now. Are they moving off? She put her seatbelt on? Is she getting ready? Yeah. Okay. So in a second, what we're going to do is we're going to move forwards. We're, we're going to go towards there. And then we're going to stop Then we'll reverse back. But we're going to let them go first, okay? Because they're going to go to work. So let's gently move forward and stop in a straight line. Now that they're in a straight line, Fatima, go ahead. Yep, gently move forward a little bit more. And now come to a stop here. Now look in your right door mirror and assess if she has enough space to get out of there. So if you were driving her car, would you fit through that gap? Yeah. That's right. So we're going to let her go. Now in a second, Fatima, I want you to reverse the car. When you reverse the car, I don't want you coming off the brake fully. I want you very, very gently take a little bit of brake off so the car moves. Okay? And then go back into that original position you were in, okay? Let's do that now. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Don't, don't come up too, too quick on the brake. And look around as well. Make sure it's safe. Keep looking around. Make sure it's safe. Come back a bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. That's right. Now going to drive. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to move forward and we need to go towards that white van and that red rally jeep. Okay, and what you'll do in a second, you'll look all the way around, make sure it's safe. You don't need to signal, but you're going to do a full lock. And when I say lock, you'll turn all the way, the wheel fully to the right, okay? Make, so do your observations, make sure it's safe. And if it is, start steering to the right. Let's move. That's it. That's it. Now look at the red jeep. And once you're straight with him, now straighten up and come to a gentle stop here. That's right. Now, over here, it's almost impossible to turn the car around. So we've got to reverse out onto this small side street. Now, usually we don't reverse onto main roads. It's, it's wrong. You avoid it. If you reverse onto a dual carriageway, it's illegal. So make sure you're looking around. But we have no option. There's nowhere to go. Okay? So let's go to reverse. And remember, when you're reversing, Go nice and slow and make sure you make an effective observation, okay? So keep looking around. Now come to a stop a second. Now which way do you want the back of the car to go? Um, to the left. Yeah, so you need to steer to the left as you move, okay? Mm -hmm. So slowly move and slowly steer. Yep. Now which way is the car going? My way, isn't it? Yeah. Focus to the left. Good. Full lock, full lock, although you let the pavement. 
and keep coming back until you straighten up in this road. That's easy. A little bit more. A little bit more. And stop. And you when you're reversing, you're looking ahead. Look around. Don't look ahead because your car's going backwards. And now going to uh, into gear one, going to drive, and move off when it's safe. That's right. That's it. That's good. And move off. See my little biscuits there, they've stabilised my camera. Mm. We're going to move off and it's safe to do so. And move away from this car so we don't get too close. Now gently follow the road round to the left. Very, very gently stay to the left. That's a small gap, so move a little to the right. Don't look, don't look at the car on the left. Gently move forward. Now stay to the left and look at the black car at the end of the road. That's fine. And now follow the road ahead. At the end of this road, we're turning right. Now start your routine. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're a meter away from this car. That's good. And now usually we'd expect you to come back to your side, but you can't. So sit on the line as you go to the end. We call it straddling the line. And stop. Okay, so when you think it's safe, then you make this turn, okay? Keep looking both ways like you're watching a game of tennis. Keep steering, keep steering, keep steering, keep looking both ways. Now straighten up and give gas. And give gas, and give gas. Because you've come out onto the new road and you need to meet the speed of the road that you've come onto. So we're now following the road ahead. Now, why is that boy waiting there? Yes, yeah, so be careful the crossing that may change colour. It did change colour. Keep going. Drive normally, it did change colour, but we went over the line, so we didn't do anything wrong. Follow the road ahead. At the next traffic lights, we're turning left. At these here. So you're following the signs for Keithley. Start your routine. Yep, good. Now stay away from the double yellow lines, and we can see the cycle lane on the floor. So very, very gently, stay away from the line and keep your car straight. Stop just before the line here. Now, can you see that big sort of monster Jeep there? Yeah. He's turning right into that road. You are priority over him. So when your light goes green, you can go. Look in the left door, I'm going to give gas and turn. That's it. That's good. And give gas, and give gas. Give gas, Fatima, come on. Move your car. Try and have like a reasonable speed on the road that you're on. So if the speed limit is 30, travelling at 20 for no reason, it's too slow. It's inconvenient for others. And plus Bradford, everyone goes too fast. Now look in the left door a minute. We're going to remain in the lane on the left. What day is it today? Sunday. What time is it? Uh, okay, that's fine. You'll need that information in a few moments. So do you know that round sign that you can see on the left? What does it mean? No, it turns. Yep, go and it's safe. Now you want to keep the car on the left hand side of the road. As close as you can to the left as you're going ahead. That's fine. Give gas. What does the other sign mean? Do a sign after that, the triangle. Why is it a triangle? It's warning you of children. So it's telling you, oh, you watch out, there could be children over here. So don't drive too fast. But today's a Sunday. Yep. Okay, but there's also a park. Now that's a bus lane sign. Read the times. Yeah, Monday to Friday. Yeah. So we're going to use it because today it's not Monday to Friday. And it's a Sunday. So because it's a Sunday and the time's on there, the times it's telling you, you're not supposed to drive a car in them times in the bus lane. 
But because it's not that time, keep an eye on your speed. You don't want to be going too fast. So as long as it's not in them times, you're completely fine. Now you can see that small blue sign on the left telling you the bus lane's ended. So look in your right door mirror for anyone cutting into your lane like the, blue car, the black car did there to us. Now slow the car down, look in the rear view mirror, look at how big the vehicle is behind you and look ahead because it takes longer for him to stop. So you need to make sure that when you're braking, you're braking appropriately. So sometimes you brake earlier to make sure you don't uh, make him brake harsh. We're going to continue following the road ahead, yes. Now look in your right door mirror and follow the road ahead. Now look at the blue car at the end of the road and look at the green traffic lights right at the end. The further into the road that you look, the easier it will be for you to drive. A little quicker, keep your speed up. 27, 28 is reasonable. Move a little bit to the right so you don't go into the cycle lane. Can you see the white car that's coming out? You have priority over him, but look behind you before you heavy brake. So very, very gently start slowing down. Move a little bit to the right, but don't slow down too fast. Now give gas and carry on because the lorry behind you cannot stop as quick as you. Yeah, because uh, my man's driving an Audi and when he drives an Audi, he drives rapid. He has places to go on a Sunday. You can see bits of cars stuck on railings. It just tells you how people drive in the sea. They drive too fast. They can't control the car. So it's very important that the speed that you travel at, that you are always in control of your car. Do you know these little bits of wall that's missing? That's people that have been speeding on this road, driving too fast. But the bus lane is open to us. Go a little quicker. Keep your speed constant. We're going to come into the lane on the left. This one here. This one, that's fine. Now, I've just reduced your auto recuperation, okay? Go a little quicker. Look in your right door mirror at this red car. He will come into your lane. Get some gas. Keep your speed up. You see how he's coming to your lane? People don't use the bus lane. They don't like learner cars. I think learners drive too slow because we're inexperienced. Look in your rear view mirror before you slow down. So before you change your speed, always look in the rear view mirror. Always. Uh, it, what it does, it recharges your car. It recharges a small battery in the car. I've turned it off because it's slowing you down uh, too quick. But can you right door mirror move a bit more to the right? That's fine. And we're going to continue following the road ahead. Every electric car has it. They just have a different version of it. It's a bit like having trainers in different makes. Each one is different. Auto recuperation. Each car has different sort of settings. You'll get used to it as you learn to drive a car. And these markings on the floor for the speed camera. Look behind you. Now carry on. Is that noise him braking? Yeah, that's noise. It's air brakes. If you go, then you need to get worried because they're heavy braking. Now we're going to keep in the lane on the left. So look in the left door mirror and stay in this lane. Follow the road ahead. Now he's turning left, but it's safe. Give some gas. We know he can make his turn. But don't come off your gas without reasoning with why you're doing that. Keep in the left lane and follow the road ahead. Now look in your right door mirror because where the bus lane finishes, people throw their car in. Now we need to be away from him a meter away. That's fine. Now look in your right door mirror again and follow the road ahead. So we're looking in the mirror there at people coming into our lane people coming in after the bus lane. We're now in Solitaire, the sign's telling you there. Move a little bit to the right, you're in a cycle lane. 
although the road markings are not very clear, as in the signage on the floor, it, 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 it's still here. Move to the right, reduce the car speed. A bit more to the right, see, consistent with how far you're away from the curb. Now look in your right domino, move to the right a little. More to the right, that time. As he's braking, so you start reducing your speed. Um, next time, before you reduce your speed, look in your rear view mirror. Now look in the left door mirror. We're going to remain in the lane on the left behind the white coloured car. So look in the left door mirror, come into the lane on the left. Go a little faster, by the way. A little quicker. That's it. Try and keep your speed reasonable. So move off with them, slow down with them. So you're like uh, a train of cars. Give some gas. 30, 30, it's not 20. Don't look at that sign, you look at what you believe is correct. So you look at the signage. If you can't see a speed limit sign and it's a built up area, it's always 30 with street lights evenly spaced apart. And this area is where you'll, you'll be doing your driving test. So you get a bit more familiar with it. So it's still 30 until you go through that side. Get more to the right. You're going into a cycle then. Now rather than twitching when I say that to you, I want you next time to look in the right door but and very gently move the car to the right. The speed limit is slightly more, so it's 40 now. A bit more to the right. Look, you're doing it again. You're twitching, you're flinching with your steering. Don't look in your mirror first slowly move across it's not an emergency you're not doing anything wrong what you do when you drive a car you constantly adjust your position it's completely natural so what we do we make small adjustments while we drive that's normal so don't get stressed so we're going to stay in the lane on the left we're then going to follow the sign for wilsden and cottingley and that's the first exit left at this roundabout so now looking your inside mirror your left mirror, signal left. Good. Keep the car straight. Look at the black car right at the end. Now slow the car down gently. Follow the angle of your lane. Keep turning. Now we can go. He's blocking the whole road. Give gas. Follow the road round. Stay in your lane. Look, you're steering too fast. Take a big deep breath and you'll come round for tonight. Okay? No big deal. Take a big deep breath and you'll be fine. He, he didn't do anything wrong, everything was fine. So we're now gonna follow the road round to the left. Not to right, that's it. And we don't need to signal because our lane bends to the right. So stay a little bit more to the left so you follow the angle of the turn, that's it. And keep it there. We can go, our light has gone green. So as you go ahead, glance to your right, look at them cars. Give some gas and don't clip the curb. That's it, good. I like what you did there. Give some gas, look in your rear view mirror, back mirror, just to see what's going on around you so you get an assessment of what's happening. And now we're going to approach a series of roundabouts. We're going to go ahead at the first uh, two roundabouts. So we need to give way to anybody on our right coming onto the roundabout or on the roundabout. Now the first person you need to give way to is at your four o'clock on a clock face. So we're gonna keep the car on the left. We're gonna to look to the right. Now there's nobody coming onto the roundabout. Gently carry on. Keep moving, look at that car and carry on. Now keep to the left. You will need to give way to that white car. Now go. The white car was on your right. You must let him come onto the roundabout. 
it's his priority over you. At the next roundabout, we're going to turn right. So this time, again, we need to give way to anybody on our right that's going to go round the roundabout. So now let's start our routine. So like looking inside mirror, your right, signal right. Keep your speed reasonable. So keep moving and keep to the right of this road. That shows which way you're headed. Look, we, we need to give way to the blue car, but these cars have to give way to us. We can go. He's turning. You can go, Fatima. Keep going round, Fatima. Now straighten the car, gently give gas. So there was a lot going on there. You need to give way to people on your right, so from that side only. The person ahead of you has to give way to you because you are on their right. So everyone gives way to everybody on their right. The speed limit soon will change into the national speed limit. So if you ever thought that you're a racing car driver, now's the time. Uh, no, it's 60. So you can travel up to 60. Personally, I think anything above, 50, above 40 is reasonable for me. However, you travel at speed that you are in control of this car. More to the right. Go a little quicker. Don't get scared. I'm in the car. I'll help you. Go a little quicker. This speed is good. Because we're approaching a junction, we don't want to be going too fast. It's telling us to slow down from 60. And the speed that we're traveling at 40 at the moment, completely fine. Move a bit more to the right. Go a little quicker. Now that solid white line is telling you you cannot go over that line. So you cannot overtake a vehicle here. Now, nobody can overtake anybody. We've both got solid lines. Now, you can see the speed limit change, changing in the distance. Make sure you're going below that speed. Anything below there is reasonable at the moment. But, no, 60 over there. It's 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 not because there's no houses there. There's nobody there. Now, it's going into 20, so reduce your speed further. A bit more to right. That's lovely. And now continue following the road ahead. If you take your driving test at Heat and Test Centre, you will be coming here. This is one of their test routes. And this is what you do. Normally there's a bus coming down on a weekday and you'll give way to him around uh, this sign. And there's a school on the left, that's why traffic is calmed here. Look in your right door, just see what's going on. Because you're travelling around 20, which is perfectly fine for, uh, at the moment, because you're travelling slower, you find cyclists that keep up with you. Why are we slowing down? There's no reason to. And that's lovely. That's good. That's a reasonable speed. Maintain it. We're now, go we're now going to follow the signs for the city centre. Can you see where that sign's telling you it is? Yeah. It, where is it? So it means when you get to the crossroads, it means you're turning left there. And that sign is white. The reason why it's white, it's a non-primary route. So it means it's not a very important road. So, get some gas. Go into the slot. Move to the right there, part. So today, Sunday, they may be going into church. And now start your routine for turning left. Keep your car straight. That's a bus lay-by. Amy, where bus is pick you up. You're lucky you don't need a bus. Yeah. Yeah. You're that rich. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get some gas and go into the road. That's it. She'd be glad you're not using a bus. And give gas. So the speed limit now it's back to 30. So you should be grateful you're not using a bus. more to the right. Just some gas. Don't get worried. A bit more to the right. A bit more. That's it. Is that a castle? No, it's a farm. Castle, I've heard it. Oh my goodness. Now look in your rear view mirror. Now come on, go a bit quicker. I can walk faster than this.
Do you think that's going to get scared? No. Don't look at oncoming cars. Look at your lane. If you look at an oncoming car, you'll get scared. Uh, no, but he is from Bradford. Do you think that's so he owns the road, literally? Probably does, actually. He's a farmer, I think. He must live there. And you can see all this mud in the road. It's usually where cows cross. And that happened, that happened to us on a driving test once here. I was with a pupil and the cows were crossing. Yeah, well, yeah, they'll just walk across when they want to. It's so funny, it's so funny. Now look at the speed limit dropping. And make sure you're travelling at an appropriate speed. And this is perfectly fine. Slow it down a bit more. That's it. And go. D don't drop it down any more than this. This is a good speed to be travelling at. So can you remember the sign that we were following? Yeah. What was it? Can you remember? Okay, continue following that sign. So we can see that we're approaching a roundabout. So coming to the left lane, good must continue ahead and reduce your speed. You must give way to your right. Look to your right, there's nobody coming, carry on. So can you remember the sign we were following? Yeah. We were following uh, city centre. So that's now Bradford. That means you're turning right at the traffic lights. Are you turning right? Yeah, yeah, we're following the sign for Bradford. So now check in mirrors, move to the right. That's it. A bit more to the right. Do I have the key? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And we can go. The light's gone green. Quick glance to your left as you're turning right. Just see what's going on. And follow the road ahead. Now you need to avoid going into the cycle lane as you're driving. You can go into it if you need to, to cross it, but avoid it. Keep it clear. When you look in your mirror, look for a little time, glance. It might be right. Don't kind of stare into the mirror. The reason for that is by the time you look away from the mirror, you can't change your direction. So now we're co coming to another mini roundabout. At the mini roundabout, we're going to go ahead. So very, very gently reduce your speed. Look to your right, there is nobody coming. Carry on, but gently. Look again to your right. So even if there's nobody there, just look. So you're reassured that there's no problem. More to the right. I'll slow the car down as you move to right. Reduce your speed. We're going to take the next road on the left here. So slow the car down. Check your mirror signal left. Keep your car straight. Look in the left door a minute. Now stay quickly and stay close to the curb. That's it. Straighten up first, then follow the road ahead. Now look in the right door mirror, move over towards the right when it's safe. If you had to stop, you'd stop at the gateway, but there's nobody coming, so gently carry on. It depends who's gone through first. So if he's gone over his giveaway, you'd have to wait for him. But if you've gone over your giveaway, you'd hope that he waits for you. But if he's flying through, you just stop, let him go, then you carry on. You can't argue stupid. Look in your right door mirror, there's nobody coming, and very gently change directions. 
keep it in gases one. Now look in the left over, start coming back to the left. Straighten the car, follow the road ahead. Move to the right and find out. A bit more to the right. And I pull it to the left. See, you just answered your own question. Keep to the left. Take the next road on the right. Come back to your side first. Reduce your speed. Turn if it's safe. Turn. And then we're going to pull up on the left after this black bin. So look in your mirrors. Signal left. Pull up anywhere on the left after this white line. Reduce your speed. Straighten the car. Okay, gentle stop it. Park it. Handbrake on. Signal off. Yeah, that's right. It'll turn off. It'll turn off after five clicks. Relax, it'll turn off. Okay, that's your test center there. So you were doing your driving test there. Your brother did his test there. Your brother's, uh, no, one of brothers did it there. Uh, your sister did it here. Your other brother did it in Thorn because we couldn't get tested it over here. That wasn't too bad. Okay, we need to turn the car around again. This time, I want to help you when you need it, not when I think you need it. Okay, can I try and let you do it a little bit on your own? Yeah, as long as you don't end up in a hedge, <laughs> we're all right. Okay, come on then. Let's see if you can do it. As long as you move very, very slowly, I've got no problems with you, okay? Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad, good, good, a little bit more, a little bit more, there, that's good, okay, stay faster, stay faster, stay quicker, and it will work, and it will materialise, it will work, keep steering, until you achieve, no, keep steering, keep steering, and stop, that's fine, and now carry on, so what do you need to do next, um, take a deep breath, a bit. no, you can't go any further, yeah. why can't you go any further back, because I hit the curb, okay, so what do you need to do now, no, okay, so what do you need I to do, uh, no, take a deep breath, you're panicking, just take a big deep breath, okay, what do you need to do with the car, you need to tell the car to move forwards. Drive. Okay, now they do it. Brilliant. Now do what you want to do. That's it, yeah? That's it. Okay, so what's happened now? Tell me what's gone wrong. I didn't steer. Um, okay, no. so what we need to do, we need to go further back to correct that. Okay, which way do you need to steer to go backwards? Um, to the left. Yes, then do it. So stay quickly, move very, very slowly. But look around. So what you're trying to imagine, you can see. So your brain agree with your heart. There. What now? No, no, no. Okay, make sure it's safe before you go. Yeah, yeah. Stay very, very quickly and move slowly. Keep steering, keep steering. That's it. Yeah, yeah it's working. It's working. Now straight up. Get some gas, come on, move your car. So it materialises what you're trying to do. At the end of the road, turn right. Well done, not bad. But then your mum. Your mum curses everyone when she does a good turn. Now come to a stop and go when it's safe. Mm -hmm. Good. Get some gas to help you. It will materialise. That's it. You know what you're trying to imagine? It'll materialise, it'll come up. At the end of this road, turn right. Now start your routine. Yeah, yeah. Stay very close to that white line, very, very close. Look in your right door, but it should be very close to your wheels. Oh, it should be very close. You stop in the straight line. And stop. Now, when it's safe, you'll make your turn. Yeah, good, good, good. Not bad. Look in your rear view mirror. Gently carry on. So you know it's safe, and you'll carry on. 
travel at a speed that's appropriate, okay? Easy, 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 easy. Don't want to cough. I like my coffee in my stomach and not out of my nose. So nice and gentle, nice and gentle. Reduce your speed. Now, these here are what they call traffic calming measures. Speed bumps, as we call them. But they're called traffic calming measures. If they're not calming your speed, they are not working. No, it means that you'll have new... It's like you running bare feet. It damages your knees. So it damages the suspension of the car. That's why they're slowing you down. So if the speed limit here is 30, going 10 is too slow, but 25 is too fast. Now look in the left one. Because we need to move back into the lane on the left. Nice and slow. Slowly come back into the lane on the left. When it's safe, continue following the road ahead. Even yellow and black ones in Madison's well had big speed ones. Yeah. Them dangerous ones. I hate them. They damage your car, bro. But they need them there. They need anti tank missiles over there. Yeah. See how fast people drive. Driving fast doesn't get you there quicker, it just gets you in a lot of trouble faster. It's like, it's not, yeah, you waste petrol, exactly. It's not equal driving. And also, you can't predict how fast things come up. Gently reduce your speed on. Because we can't see a lot here. We're now going to follow the road round. At the end, keep steering so we don't get too close to that boy. At the end of the road, we're going to turn left, please. So now gently take a bit of gas off. Start slowing down. Start your routine as well. Okay. Yeah, we're turning left here. Get closer, get closer. Now straighten the car, slow the car down. Mm -hmm. Gently move forward and try and give me that position towards the end. So move a little bit to the right, reduce your speed, and then I want that 45 degree angle. Come to a gentle stop here. So we're turning left here and then left at the lights again, okay? So when it's safe, you're turning left here, then left again. So look to your left as well, just in case somebody's crossing the road. Look to your left, just in case somebody's walking across the road. By law, you must give them way. And go. That's it. Give some gas. I'm going to take the next road on the left. So the traffic lights turn left. Start your routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Keep your car straight. And this is a very narrow turn, so be careful. Go a bit quicker. Don't get scared. Go a little faster, your lights green. Turning left here. I'll steer very quickly now. That's it. Now, quickly straighten up. There we are. That's lovely. Well done. Well done. Is it 30? It's 30, yeah, but travel at a speed that you're in control, that I'm not constantly nagging you. If you're going 31, I'd be annoyed because then I'm constantly telling you to watch your speed. Then your focus will drop from the road to your speed. So it won't be a productive lesson for you or I. Gently slow down a little because we're going to take the next road on the right again. So let's take the next road on the right again. Do that on your own. This one here. Lovely. Yeah, you'll we'll have to go somewhere down there. But don't get too close to these parked cars, they make me nervous. I like my door mirror on my car, not on his. A bit early for the kebab. You just walk up. Mm. Got burger in his hand, I think. What are you doing? Gone. Okay, can you try and turn this car around yourself today? So you did that one up there, and that was actually pretty good. So I want you to try and turn the car around yourself. Do you I don't indicate. I keep to the left there, Fatima. Keep to the left. There's a reason. Now go to the right a little and stop. Now the reason why I stopped you there, Fatima, they, that blue car wasn't there the last time you did it. He's there now. Oh. So he affects how you, how you reverse. So now in reverse, keep the car to the left as you reverse, okay? Mm -hmm. Keep steering. That's it. Gently keep reversing. Mm -hmm. And we're going to stop for a second because there's a lady there and a young lady with her as well. Okay? When there's pedestrians, you have to stop. 
then make sure that they're away from your car, then carry on. And they are, they're walking the opposite direction. And that's lovely. Okay, and now you carry on doing whatever you're doing. That's it, yeah. Nope, it's not working. Then reverse back. That means you release too much brake as you move forward. A little bit more, a little bit more. There. Now do what you need to do. Now this time, don't take so much brake off. So steer very, very quickly and move very slowly. Stay faster. That's it. So it changes direction. Keep steering. That's it. Unless you'll clip the curb. Don't steer too fast. Let the car move. Otherwise you'll hit the curb as you move off. Don't steer anymore, you'll hit the curb. Understand how big your car is. So how wide your car is. The wider your car, the bigger the problem. The longer the car, the bigger the problem. Sometimes people hit small cars because they don't know how wide their car is. Yeah. We're now going to park behind that black car on the left, under the 30 sign. But we don't need to... Yes, we do. We do need a signal. There's somebody there. Good. When you park behind that car, make sure you leave me enough room to move out. Put tires on the tarmac. And, yeah, that's fine. Park the car. Handbrake on. Signal off. Foot off brake. And relax. Don't want too bad. 